Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan. Just got the screw recording started here and what we're going to be diving into is discussing the Race of Leal SBs which are going to be dropping on March 19th. That is the rumored date for it to hit sneakers and I'm sure we're going to see this one load there. Probably will be via a draw but this is not just going to hit sneakers. It's going to hit skate shops and I'll have a how-to cop video coming on these in a few days just once uh, they load on the sneakers app. That's you know when I want to make uh, you know kind of the how-to cop video on this but this will just kind of be a video discussing sell or hold which um, I feel like this is a good bet over time but I don't feel like the initial hype is too crazy and I'm going to kind of dive into that I do feel uh, like this SB will be a bit overlooked but it is still a Nike skater right race of Leal, so I feel like it can age really well over time especially if she um, you know she's a young skater so I mean if she um, you know continues to do good with time then these are only going to get more valuable right so that's kind of one of the main things I want to mention about it but uh, yeah, that's really everything I need to say. If y'all want more content like this, feel free to check my Instagrams, any of that down below. I'm always buying, selling, trading here. Uh, y'all can just hit me up. I got some of the, you know, Futuras, a couple military blues left, uh, stuff like that. So if anybody's interested, just let me know and I'll, you know, kind of see what I have available for you guys. And you can always DM me. I'm buying breads, I'm buying power puffs. So if you got those, you know, pretty, I'm sure most people are buying those, but yeah, hit me up. So that's it. Subscribe, like for more. Just trying to 200 likes. I might've already said that. So if I did, I'll cut this out. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. So diving into the Raysa Leal SB, as you guys can see, these are the current prices. Uh, and as you all can see, like that size nine, eight and a half, eight, like look at some of these sizes and what they're going for two weeks before a sneaker drop. That's pretty good. You know, like 200 to 250 range. And, and I guess you got, you know, 13 and 14 above. No shocker there. Like once you start getting to 12, 13, 14 and SB, those are the sizes you should just keep and put away for a year or two and forget about because inevitably within Within a few months, they end up going for more just because they're that limited. Nike really doesn't make enough of the big sizes. And I think this, you know, chart kind of we have here is, is a good example because you can see like some of the smaller sizes even go for a little bit more, but you know, not too crazy as expected. And eventually these will probably be the ones that end up going for the least. But when you look at some of the mid-range sizes and then you go to the big sizes, you're like, whoa, wait, why are these double? It's because there's probably like, you know, a third, a fourth of them compared to like, you know, a size nine or a size eight. You know, there's just, they don't make 13s and 14s a lot in SB. So I do feel for my people that, uh, you know, are 13, uh, and, you know, try and go get some SBs. If you're a true 13, then you got to go with like a 13.5 or a 14, which I don't, they, yeah, you can see they don't even have 13.5s. So <laughs> there you go. It starts getting tricky once you get to big sizes and trying to figure out what will specifically fit you. But I want to give a couple examples. So I don't think the hype is, you know, for example, something like the Power Puffs. Like you can see, this is a clear, uh, you know, winner for well, probably one of the winners for last year in terms of being one of the most hyped SBs. It was towards the end of the year, I will admit, but you can see Big Sats are already making some great progress on these. Uh, and you guys can see here are some other ones that we had. I think it could perform a little bit similar uh, to the Aprils at first, but the Aprils went for a lot more on the early market. That's one thing we have to mention. Those were going for like 450, 500 early. Right now, they're like you know 300, 350 bucks, depending on the size you go get so uh it definitely uh you know the market is a little bit all over the place with sbs at the moment but it depends on what you grab so kind of the closest comparison i can give is the Udos because this is a nike skater so i know some uh sizes in these used to go for a little bit less these have actually made a little bit of progress up you guys can see look 300 3 320 310 now you can see most of the sales are up there they're you know up there, excuse me, at like 330, 340. You have a couple that occasionally come in at a little bit less, but those would be for the smaller sizes. You can see size 11 is no longer having as many cheaper sales, right? Like look, size 11 used to go for kind of a range of 350-ish. Now, I mean, we're up there at 380, 400. So we've got some sales uh, that have definitely been climbing up. You can see occasionally somebody will come through and get a bid for a bit less. So that's, you know, nice to see. But you can see we're already having some sales at 400, multiple. I mean, I can hear 425, 425, 417, 411. So I do think these are going to cross 400 soon. And I think the race of the alls will perform fairly similar where it'll go up slowly with time. Uh, but it's not going to be one that's like going to make you a ton of money right off the bat. It's not going to like double in price like, you know, some of the power puff baby sizes have done in a couple months, like going from like 110 to 220 in all sizes. That has some ha has happened with like the blossom and toddler sizes in some of the sizes. Uh, they used to go for like 110, 115, no demand. And now there's, you know, demand for them and they're going for 230 just because there's none left. Right. Again, uh, I think. 
I don't think that would happen with these, you know? It's just, I feel like we'll have enough pairs on sneakers. I feel like the skate shops will get a decent amount. A few will definitely be backdooring them, and I think that's going to cause prices to drop a good amount. So if you're looking to buy these, my personal advice is wait. I would just, you know, wait it out, give it a bit of time, because the prices are eventually going to come down. We just have to wait for that to happen, and it's going to be happening over the next couple weeks as the sneakers drop loads, as skate shops post their raffles, as skate shops, you know, backdoor some stock, probably some of the bigger sizes, you know, but... That's really what I can say, you know. I I don't really um, you know, I don't think it's like a crazy pair. You know, it's a great personal. I love how this one looks. I think the design is very well done. Um, but I don't think it's one that, you know, is all of a sudden gonna be an amazing hold, gonna, you know, have a ton of hype around it. But it is an SB, and that's one reason you should definitely be looking and going for this release, because SB is trending, SB is hyped. Uh, and yeah, that's really why uh, a lot of these are flipping. Even some of you know, they're kind of regular collabs and colorways we got, uh, just like this one right here. I mean, I remember literally a month ago, size 11 was going for like 450, 500. So you can kind of see, uh, most skate shops have started to get their pairs, but also, um, some backdoors have started to happen because that's why the prices have gone down that much that quickly. But the sales are starting to happen also. I mean, there isn't no, uh, isn't any lightning bolt symbol yet, but you guys can see there's a lot of people starting to run to apps, uh, to grab this pair because the prices are cheaper. And you know, some people are hitting bids, look like 200, 200, 194. Like, yeah, if you're hitting bids around that, that's not bad. You know, just put it away, forget about it for a year or two and you'll be up hundred uh, percent. but it's one of those ones that again, I would wait to buy it because you're going to be able to get a cheaper price in a week. Uh, than you would maybe, you know, right after the release. Because I would not be shocked if sneakers end up duping us with the stock and then they go up a little bit after, you know, the draw once people take their L's. Would not surprise me. But I don't think like that, that it's going to go up too much because I just don't think the hype is fully there. I do think people want this sneaker. But I don't think it's like, um, you know, people are focused on like the upcoming Military Blues and some of the other reimagined, you know, series we got later this year. Uh, also, you know, some of the Kobe collabs, or not collabs, but Kobe sneakers we have coming towards April. So I think people are more focused on that right now. Maybe that's just me, but that's why I feel like these could be a bit overlooked. But you might have a really good opportunity. Now, I'm saying this, if size is 11 and 12, right? If size is like 11, 12, 13, drop below $200, which it looks like it could happen. I mean, if you have the opportunity to buy this sneaker in sizes 11 and a half, 12, 13, down the line, let's say, you know, they hit like close to 200 or go below 200, buy them. Because not often does that happen with SBs. And I'll give you all a good example. Why so sad SB? That was a sneaker that went to like 170, 180, uh, even in the big sizes. And now look at what the big sizes go for. It's like $300, $350. You know, some of them almost 400. So that's how I feel about this one. You know, the big sizes have a lot of potential to go back up. They were already selling about a month ago at those prices. So it can hit there again, but it's going to take, you know, the stock will come in limited and it's also going to take, uh, you know, a bit of time because obviously that's not going to happen right after the release. You know, people are going to have sneakers dubs, raffle dubs, skate shop backdoors, you know, pr the price is going to be going down over the next week or so. But once those L's come in, might, you know, might have a good opportunity to buy some 11s, 12s, you know, 11 and a half big sizes. That, that's the main focus I want to give. If you want to hold this shoe, Go for the sizes that are going to be harder to get down the line, but we'll still have buyers for them. You know what I mean? So maybe grabbing a 9, a 10, uh, 11 is definitely a good size to grab. And then, of course, 12, 13, those are no-brainers. So that's really what I can mention about these. I do think it's a good hold, uh, but I will think, I, I, I think you'll have some time to buy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think um, this is going to be one that all of a sudden, like, again, they don't make a lot of them. Like, I think we're going to have a decent amount of these because there is people that want them. Nike knows SB is trending so they can sell more than usual. So it's like... If Nike understands these things, you know, I think it won't be too hard to grab these. But it's still going to resell, so it's not going to be, like, super easy. You know what I mean? I mean, people are still going to be bought out in this drop, doing all that. So just keep that in mind. But in terms of the current prices, I would just wait. Again, no reason to go buy a pair right now. They'll be cheaper in a week or so. So that's what I'll mention, some comparisons. And if you were to hold this one, again, the only reason I would hold this sneaker is if you're looking to hold it for a year plus. If you're looking to do it for like six months, eight months, I'd go look into go look into different sneakers, like maybe some of the bread reimagined stuff like that. I wouldn't look into these because they could make progress quickly in those big sizes. But I think, you know, the real money is going to be made if you're willing to wait. And, you know, that's why I don't even feel like this is an amazing hold. If you get it and hit for retail and sell it, I wouldn't even be mad. But it is an SB, uh, so, I mean, it, it will be worth more in a year. That, that's just, it's simple to say that SBs go up, you know, so that's what I'm going to leave it at. But if y'all want more content like this, feel free to check out my Instagrams, any of that down below. Don't forget, I'm always buying, selling, trading kicks here. So if y'all ever want to do business with me, buy some kicks off me, uh, you know, ask me a question, just hit me up here and I'll try and get back to you. And if I didn't see your last DM, just DM me again. I always try and say that in case I missed your message. 
So make sure you remember that. But that's really it. Let me know your thoughts on the race of Lials. Are you going to be looking to buy and hold any pairs? Are you kind of focused on maybe some of the upcoming collabs? Me personally, I'm focused on the military blues. I'm focused on some of the Kobe's we have in April. I am going to be going for these. I am going to be going for the plum dunk restock. All that stuff we're going to have towards mid-March. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's kind of like, this is something I'm not going to forget about. You know, it's still a good flip and still could age well. But I do think there are better bets coming very soon, and I'll be more focused on those. So that's it. I'm going to end that screen recording. I'm Tristan. Thank you, guys. And let me know your thoughts, and I will catch you all in the next video soon. See you all then. Peace. Peace.